There is a fruit in Blood Fruits that allows you to become completely immune to sword techniques. Or some sword techniques? I don't really know how it works yet. And it's called the Chop Chop Fruit. So today I'm leveling the Chop Fruit to unlock all of its abilities and then using it to take down every single enemy in all of Blood Fruits with a sword. First things first, nom nom nom. Mmm, tastes like this fruit's gonna be terrible. So I currently have 13 mastery on the fruit somehow. I can't remember when I got that. And we have four moves that we can unlock. One called Tackle, Dance, Party, and Helicopter. That's the one I'm most excited for. But if you want to gain mastery, the fastest way to do that is easily in the third C. And why don't we start by fighting a boss? You know, it'll be pretty simple. Wait, that's just a boss without a sword. Let's try and find a boss with a sword since it should make it like maybe a bit easier for us. I don't know how the dodging sword mechanic works though. Wait, I know the ultimate boss that we can hard counter using this fruit. It's the strongest sword master in all of the third C. So he's not to be taken lightly. This is going to be risky because I don't even know how I dodge. Ligma, I have arrived. Try and hit me. Watch me ultra instinct dodge all of your hits. Oh! Wait, what? What? Oh, that doesn't make sense. I'm supposed to be immune. Am I supposed to like use one of my moves first? Now am I immune? I'm kind of scared to find out. I'm the... What? You shouldn't be able to hurt me. All right, maybe I need more mastery, which kind of sucks because this was going to be my way to get mastery. All right, doesn't weave. Boom, tackle. Oh, I'm not doing this. I don't want to die. Longma, I'll be back for revenge. I promise you. Let's try somebody else. This fishman captain, he has a trident. That's like sawdy enough, right? Oh, there it is. They can't hurt me, which means I can just stand here and like press tackle over and over. Wait, this fruit could be really good for grinding, actually. Like if you had something like the Dark Blade V3, which I got like in the last video, you can just dodge and then get like a bunch of hits for free. But this is better than the Buddha fruit against people with swords. We got two new moves. Yes. It's time to test out my first move called dance. What does it do? Oh, I just like use all of my limbs to create like a tornado. I like it. It does a lot of damage as well. What about party? Oh, it's a barrage. Not bad. This fruit is not bad. I feel like people could unironically use this fruit and actually be amazing with it since everybody's walking around having the cursed dual katana. But that's already chop mastery level 73. Let's go see how this fruit does against enemies with fighting styles instead. I wouldn't be surprised if I took more damage. All right, cool. An enemy with electric claw. Try and hurt me. <laughs> yep, I, I'm not immune to these guys. But like, why is the damage actually not bad? It doesn't make sense. We're dancing again. This fruit is surprisingly fun. Big barrage tackle attack and now we dance it actually worked oh we got our final move helicopter i just i fly i'm literally just a floating torso my legs and arms are what's flying me around oh this is good so i think what my plan is is i need to get like over 100 mastery to be able to fight every single mob in the entire game with a sword and we only have to beat one of every mob i'm not gonna like fight every single one because you know they respawn and i'm not crazy all right cool that's mastery level 90 10 more and then we're good to go i'm ready to fight everything all right i may have gone a bit overboard i've got 115 mastery but now we're gonna head back to the first c and the first mob with a sword is actually actually surprisingly all the way on pirate village and it's just default pirate level 35 come on pirate hit me see you can't i'm just <laughs> i'm just built like that no matter how many times you try and chop me it just won't work and boom pirate defeated well to make this like not super easy for me i've limited my stats in the first seat to 500 like here we've got level 45 brutes survived a hit i'm just really that weak and i was kind of curious yeah maces can't hurt me either and neither can that wait the smash doesn't hurt me so i'm immune to everything sword related there goes a brute and then the next thing is actually me and he can hurt what i don't understand why can he hurt me i should be immune do i still not have enough mastery i mean this isn't a problem for me when i've got all of my moves now party easy bobby defeated now we just gotta fly over to where the next boss is using this chop route to get everywhere it's just gonna take so much time here we go i've made it it's saw or the saw he's got the behind his name. That's how you know he's strong. Yeah, my moves aren't doing anywhere near as much damage as they were before. But can he hurt me? Oh, he can. Why are some of these bosses built like this? It's making this challenge way scarier than it needs to be. Hold on. I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. That's sword defeated. The next mob is on snow. This snow bandit guy. He's got a sword. This should be one shot. It was not. Oh, he's bringing the whole squad to join him. But there we go. We defeated one of them. And there's another one for good luck. I don't think anybody else has a sword on this island. Do you have a sword? Nope. That's a snowman. But mob leader is up next. Let me guess. I just take damage. Make it make sense, game. Is it because they're bosses? Is that boss symbol like next to his name? Is that why they can hurt me? Surely not. Maybe it's his HP. It's not his HP either. Right. Tackle. There goes another boss. We're speeding through the first C. This is light work. Marine Fortress. This is basically the land of the swordsman. See, Chief Petty Officer, only level 120. This is easy. I say that just by taking three full hits to take one down. <laughs> is that like the only mob on this island? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next mob is the boss. Vice Admiral. He's got three swords and all three of them can't hurt me. Or at least they shouldn't be able to hurt me. Wait, what about his sword skill? Can I dodge those? 
No. Wow, I'm really nerfed against the bosses, which are like the hardest part about this. But there we go. Vice Admiral defeated. This is about to ramp up in difficulty real quick. So it would have been nice if they gave the fruit like more than three attacking moves. Next up, we're in the prison. Dangerous prisoner. He's level 210 and he's got a sword as well. But these guys are the easy part because they just can't hurt me. There we go. One of those prisoners defeated. And next up, we've got two bosses with swords. Luckily, like the big boss in there, the Don, you could say, doesn't have a sword or else this would be mega tough. But you know, I'm feeling a bit spicy. Let's fight both of them at the same time. How hard can it be? This fruit is kind of ridiculous. The fact that I can just dodge and weave like this. How is this working? It worked for a little bit. It's not working anymore. Oh no. The warden's nearly defeated. The chief warden's getting low as well now. Tackle! Yes, one down. Now we party. Yes, yes. Boom. That's the prison complete, I think. Right, you don't have a sword, right? Oh yeah, that's definitely not a sword. I'm out of here. Chop versus Saber Expert. Who will win? Obviously gonna be me because he's only got a sword. Yep, it's a boss, so I'm almost certain that's now the reason why they can hurt me. It would be a little bit broken if I could just completely tank the bosses by having one fruit. All right, boss, you're on your last legs. Dance. Surely this is it. How is he alive? There we go. Ooh, that's a little bit close. And the reason why me getting close to dying is bad is because every single time I die, I'm going to give away 10 permanent chop fruits. That's how confident I am. The next mob to have like a sword is supposed to be this guy, but he just doesn't have one. Wait, but that guy over there, what? He's just different, I guess. Why does he not have a sword? All right, that guy's bugged, so we'll fight this guy instead. Level 300 military officer. I guess that guy must be a military officer from Ohio or something. Like, But there we go. That's that mob defeated. And I think that's everything for magma. Would you be surprised if I told you that most of the fish under water have swords <laughs> that's right we got a fishman warrior level 375 this guy has a sword luckily i don't have to worry about losing any robux or anything against these guys wait can i dodge that slash we what? But you can dodge like sword slashes? I'm impressed with this fruit. It keeps surpassing my expectations, I gotta say. Now, I think, do these fish have swords? Oh, they got three sword style. Still three swords that just can't hit me. And there we go. Fishman Commando defeated. Now's the time where it gets a little bit scary. We've got the Fishman Lord. This guy has a trident, so I've technically, like, I gotta fight him. He's very close to me in level, so it's very scary. Ooh, I don't need my fruit to dodge you. Yeah, that was easy. Dance mode. Big tackle. Big tackle. Yes. I'm actually having to play this smart. This is not good. Oh, there it is. Second phase. This is where things get a bit scarier. I don't know how... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like four hits will kill me. Dance, 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 dance. Dodge. Dance and then dodge. All right, we're doing the pillar strat. Hide behind the pillar and hope for the best. Yes. Oh, we beat the boss. All that it took was like one giant pillar. Now I got to check all of the Skylands for any guys with swords. And I'm glad I did because there's a Sky Bandit here. It's not a Sky Bandit. That's Tyler Ninja Blevins. It's Ninja. What is Ninja doing in Block Street? And why has he got wings and two swords? Either way, we defeated Ninja. Now we've got Dark Masters with maces. These guys are also, yeah, pretty easy to take down. There we go. Moving on. We're heading towards Upper Sky. This guy's got like a Darth Maul sword. And these guys are getting mega close to my level as well. So can I like not be hurt by them? Yep, I can still dodge these guys. Guys, we what? How did he dodge that? You know what? I respect that guy, but there we go. He's defeated. Surprisingly, none of the sky mobs actually have swords. However, does this count as a sword? He's got a pole. You know what? Fine. I'll take you down just like to prove a point quickly. This is going to take a little while, but like he can't hurt me with his pole at least. A lot of running and dodging later. And there goes the thunder god. Wait, what? Die, please. Please. There we go. I was so anticlimactic, but we defeated him and we stole his pole from his hands. You see, now we're in the big leagues. These guys have got hacky. Wait, can they even not hurt me with hacky? No! <laughs> yeah, what's the point of having that cool effect on your sword when you can't even touch me? Well, it's a chop fruit one-shot combo when you need it. It's a cycle through your moves three times kind of one-shot combo. That's how this works. But there we go. I think that might be everything with the first C. Wait, we nearly forgot. The galley pirates. As soon as I defeat you, I can go to the second C and suffer even more. And there we go. Wait, what? I guess we'll finish it with a tackle. It's got to be poetic. Full force tackle! That's every single mob with a sword in the first C complete. Just the second and third to go. This is where it's going to get scary. Right now, this is where things get a bit sketchy. I've got to search the entire second C and hope that I don't miss any mobs with a sword. And there we go. We found our first mob with a sword. Can you hurt me? We. Oui. Nope. I've even limited my stats to just 700 for like the beginning part and they still can't hurt me. It just means it's going to take me ages to defeat one. I'm sending him to the back rooms. <laughs> the chop fruit's too OP. <laughs> I killed him while he was headstanding. But there we go. There's the first second C mob with a sword. Gone. Erased from the planet. The next one might be over here. Nope. That's definitely just fists. My first roadblock in the second C is a literal diamond. Now, I don't think my immunity is going to work, right? 
Yep, yep, it's not gonna work. So we're just gonna go all in. Guns blazing. I do not do any anywhere near enough damage. We dance and we get behind him. And then we run. It actually worked. This fight's gonna take time, but I think we can do this like without much of a struggle. Oh, this boss is different. This is where the real tough bosses are starting. Real tough boss or not? Five minutes of fighting and running later. He's getting mega low. There's another tackle. Just gonna wait for him to do a slash. There we go. Now we go in. You're done, Diamond. How is he alive? One more tackle. Maybe a dance for good luck. There we go. That's only the first boss in the second C. I'm kind of scared to go to the green zone now. Because there is another boss over there that's way more dangerous than that one. And his name is Fajita. <laughs> Not really a menacing name, but still. <laughs> Let's start off the fight right by doing minuscule damage. Not how I was expecting that to go. The meteors are a problem, so we fly up. That's how we dodge them. Go on, use your meteors. I'll dodge them in a heartbeat. Easy. Wait, what? It hit me? Wait, what? They've got splash damage. Yeah, I'm gonna have to predict like way better than this. I need to get out after this. Tackle, tackle, tackle. <gasps> You know what? Maybe we need to work up the fajita, you know? We kind of didn't defeat the minions on this island just yet. Marine captain, surely you can't hurt me, right? Yep. Wow, it's nice to be OP again. Go from being real OP to just not OP at all. But I can see why Blockchain's decided to make it so the bosses can hurt you, because I would be dodging all those meteors like it's nothing. But there we go. Marine Captain defeated. Marine Lieutenant, you're next. This was honestly way too easy. Now we gotta go back and suffer against Fajita. You know, as long as you don't play like too much of a psychopath, it's surprisingly not that difficult to beat some of these tough bosses. One more tackle. <laughs> Yep, there we go. We've defeated Fajita. We're now on like the hot and cold island and there's a mob here called a Magma Ninja. This guy has like another double sword. Once again, it's nice and relaxing when you have to fight these guys because they just can't hurt you. There we go, Magma Ninja down. There's also these mobs on cold with like a pipe thing. These guys are also like technically a swordsman and they're also dead. And now we've got another boss. I'm kind of annoyed at how many bosses in the second sea have weapons. And this one's gonna be extra not easy because he has a smoke fruit. And it can do that, whatever that is. As long as I play it safe. He just did a barrel roll. As long as I play it safe and avoid his like weird maneuvers, I should be fine. It's going really well, so he's nearly half. Wait, I'm kind of destroying him. I can't see. Yeah, your flashbang doesn't work on me, smoker. Party attack, party attack. And then we tackle and now we dance. A lot of these battles aren't even difficult. It just takes so long to fight them. Like smoke admiral, please just die. You're hanging on by a thread. Tackle. All right, fine. How about this? Yes. Oh, the mastery as well. Now there's one more boss I have to fight on this island before leaving. And it's one that I'm not sure I'm going to be able to defeat without losing like many permanent chop fruits. That's right. We're fighting order. And if we're going to do that, I need to raise my stats by a bit. This is going to be rough. He set up his room and now I'm terrified. Ow. Does he even have a sword? Wait, let me check. Oh yeah, he's got a sword. I got to fight this guy. Observations allowed. I make up the rules as I go along. He can throw boulders. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. This is impossible for one person. I'm, I'm up in my stats. Increasing defense. We've got max defense. This is necessary. He's a raid boss and he's relentless. Chill. Oh, bro, he won't leave me alone. No, 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 no. Potty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that order. Try and hit me now. Boom. Tackle. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. Make it stop. Make it stop. I can't dodge those boulders, man. He's spamming them. Tackle. <gasps> the extra health was like kind of clutch. This was necessary. Oh, no. This just shouldn't hurt me. What? Oh, he sniped me out of the air. Order. Chill. Order. What the heck? He's hitting me with the boulders in the sky. Helicopter mode. What? Are you... Nah. Nah. Oh, I'm actually done for. Oh. Teleport to the ground. Party, party, party. This isn't a party. This is a massacre. A look up to please. Wait, the Wait, his room's disappeared. That's my chat. Oh, he summoned it back. Oh, no. Oh, that boulder was so close. <laughs> keep going, keep going. I need mink or shark or something. Ow. I need to predict where he's going. That was not a prediction. That was just a massive... <laughs> Well, I died. Okay, raid bosses, maybe not the go-to, but there we go. We lost uh, 10 chop fruits. Moving on to the next boss, because that is impossible. Did I say boss? I actually meant chef. We're fighting some angry chefs now. Honestly, it feels good to go from being completely chased down and hunted, like it was some kind of dream manhunt, to just absolutely destroying that guy. The next mob is actually upstairs. Is it you guys? Do you have a sword? Yep, it's ship officer. Once again, another mob that we can just easily defeat. There we go. It took me a while, but I nearly forgot about these guys, the snow troopers. Also, these Arctic Warrior guys, I completely forgot about those. But now it's time for the scariest mob in the entire second sea. The Tide... Wait, where's his name? I don't want to get too close. He's called like the Tide Keeper or something. Yeah, there he is. And the reason why he's scary is he can summon a straight up sea beast to attack you. So I want to deal with him fast so he hopefully can't like spawn it in. Ow, he can do that though. Now I'm playing mega safe now because this challenge is way harder than I initially thought it was. Because the bosses can hurt you. He's a half... Oh, no, no it's, not, it's over. I didn't beat him fast enough. Wait, the CP's just dipped. He was like, I, I'm out. I don't want to help anymore. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, he's back. Party, party, party. Wait, dodge. 
Oh, yeah, no amount of chop chop man will stop that from hurting. Observations allowed. I'm allowing it for this fight because the sea beast hurts. All right, please. I got to kill this guy fast enough. I can't mess around anymore. No, 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 no. Don't do it, sea beast. You don't want me to come over there and beat you up. Like, I will. <laughs> you, you don't want me to have to. Like, he would swallow me whole, but like, then I'll turn into little parts inside of you and like grab your stomach lining. Where am I? I don't know where I'm going with that. Let's just try it. <laughs> I just got to focus on beating this boss. Oh, no, not again. Sea beast has disappeared. Now's my chance. Go. He's on red. Yes, yes. I'm separate him from the what is bro doing what is the stevie's looking at i'll take it bought me some time no Christ, i was about to use my party move all right dance there we go i've beat him now can you disappear be gone i defeated the guy who summoned you why are you still fighting me all right we fly away my work here is done the second c is complete the first third c mob we have to defeat is this pirate millionaire which honestly shouldn't be too much of a problem it's the bosses in this c that are going to be the real problem <laughs> Wait, do that, do that again. My arms were just like splitting off into tiny pieces. Hit me again with it. All right, I'll just dodge your basic attacks. <laughs> Why am I moving like that? Oh, yeah, pirate millionaire gone. And that's every single mob with a sword on this island, I think. Next up, we got a female islander. Honestly, this is the warm up. This is the warm up before the real hard stuff. There we go. That one defeated. Oh, and we also can't forget about the dragon crew warriors. Now we're on the big tree island, and like there's a lot of marines here, and they've all got swords, like always, which just means easy pickings. Like that. The marine commodore's gone. Of the haunted castle, since like basically everything is undead, nothing carries a sword, except for one boss that I really don't want to fight. So if I don't get it in the 10, then we're not gonna fight it because it's like a raid boss. So Death King, please don't give me the hollow essence. Please, I don't want it. I got some money. Nice, that's good. XP, cool. Yeah, I'll take double XP. All right, this is going amazing. Fragments. Here we go, the final attempt. I better not get it. I got double XP. Whoo, dodged a bullet with that one, which means we can now move on to the next island, which is one of the biggest in the entire third sea. And I actually fought these guys at the start of the video, but like just to like double check. There's the two fishman defeated. Longuma, don't think I've forgotten about you. I'll be coming back for you soon. He said we just got a quickly check around all of this island because I know that I'm missing some swordsmen. Yeah, I knew I was missing one. All right, here's one. Final tackle. I think that's everything cleared from that area. Boom. Forest pirate down. Now we get to the real scary stuff. The first third sea boss. We're fighting Captain Elephant. Now, I struggle to beat this guy like normally. So this is going to be real rough. I need to see how much damage we can do with like one little combo thing. Not enough, clearly. As long as I keep my distance, this should be possible. I was going to say I might be able to do this with no casualties, but he's relentless. So much dodging and weaving later. Yes! Finally! Well, that's Captain Elephant defeated. I think there's another boss on this island that I've never really fought before. I think they have a sword. Let me check. Do you have a sword? Oh, yeah, that's definitely a sword. Uh-oh. Beautiful pirate, level 1950. Luckily, with this one, it doesn't have any, like, insta-lock-on moves. It has that, but I could quite easily avoid that. You want anything else to throw at me? Just that? All right, this is gonna be pretty easy. Keep my distance. Yeah, try and hit me. Try and hit me. You'll never hit me. Easy. Okay, this is where things get real scary. He's in his, like, beefed up mode. He's got this cool aura, and he hurts a lot. And he runs at Mach 10. I'm not losing a life to this. I'm not losing a life to this. I'm not losing a life to this. Party. He hit through! No. We took an L on the beautiful pirate. Did you see his face? He was looking demonic after he was standing over my corpse. <laughs> kind of terrifying. That's 20 chop fruits we're giving away. Luckily, we're very nearly done with the third C. Now, we've got all of the cake islands next. We got to go through every single one of them. So let's speed run this. That guy defeated. Another one defeated. Peanut Scout defeated. There's just one more mob left on the entire third C. It's this guy, an ice cream commander. Shouldn't be too hard to defeat, especially because I'm immune. Yep, he can't even hurt me with that. Wait, I'm actually so busted. Okay, party mode. And there we go. That was the final mob. We've only got two things left. Number one, the cake queen. Kind of worried about this one because she's like a mega strong sword user. And then after we like easily, you know, with no worries at all, destroy the cake queen, we got to go get revenge on Ligma. I said easy. I, did, I take it all back. I'm sorry. I've actually done nothing. She's built different. Dance, 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 dance. Now run. Now run. Dodge and weave. I got to do like unpredictable movements and hope for the best. That work. Tackle. It gets so much scarier. Oh no, she's close. Tackle her away. Oh, ow. Me personally, I think I should be able to dodge that, you know, being a chop chop man. Just detach my head or something. I don't think I'm beating the cake queen. I won't lie. I really got to pull something out the bag if I want to do this. Channel all of my pro gamer skill. All 1% of it. Tackle. Yes. Easy dodge. Oh, this is really not good. But she's nearly half. It's a little bit scary, but I think we can do this. It's taking a little bit of grinding, but she's getting there. She's getting pretty low. I haven't been completely stressed and losing my mind this entire time or anything. But like, I think, please, how many more hits do I need to do? Surely like this one, right? What? All right. How about this? This is it. This is it. I can feel it. Please die. No, 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 no. 
Yes! Oh, I did it! I really managed to beat Cake Queen that easily and struggled against some easier bosses. Ligma, I'm back. Let's do this. I'm probably gonna need Race Awakening to beat him easily enough. Wait, I'm kind of doing some good damage, but so is he. Maybe I can do this without Race Awakening. I might be like that, but maybe I should have healed up properly first. Actually, I don't need healing. Bit of riskiness helps me play smarter, probably. Did he destroy that pillar? Was that like that before? Oh no, I'm done for. He's healing! Why are you healing? I'm dead. There's another 10 shop fruits. Right, just you wait long. I gotta go on a quick training arc and then I'll be back. The most menacing chop chop man is back. Here we go, Ligma. I've trained for this. I've got like insane damage buffs now. I can go invisible. I can teleport. I just need to build up my damage meter and then we're gonna start going crazy. That's right, Ligma. The more you hurt me, the stronger I become. Oh God. Wait, I'm still getting clapped. Tackle. 5k. I'm not losing to you, Longma. I'm not losing. Please. Oh, it ran out. It ran out. Please. Yes. Oh my God. My life flashed before my eyes. But anyway, here's me giving away all 30 of the chop fruits. Subscribe for more.